God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Welcome to the Reserved Helping a Hurting World with Father Michael and Father Michael's Ministries. And now, here comes Father Michael to demonstrate to us how God is cool. Hello, my children. Hello, my people. Hello, all my listeners. Hello, everyone. It's the sound of my voice. This is Father Michael speaking of Father Michael's Ministries. I wanted to preach to you today about how God is good. God is good for the reasons of that everything that God created on this earth was good for the use of mankind. Okay? Right? I mean, there are... that That's the way, you know, a lot of our medications are in this day and time. It's half the root or herb of what God made and then a chemical and turns into medication. There you are with God's creation and the science of man. Even though I believe God gave the science scientists the knowledge regardless but you know we have a God that loves us you know it, you know and I you know Father Michael I love you you are all my people if you have not feel like you are loved I, you are loved you know that's uh, one of the reasons I do a lot of my podcasts I want people to feel loved I want people to know that you know God is there there is a real a real intelligent you know tangible God that is all around us. He is a universal God. You know, He has all of your best interests in heart. God wants you to succeed. God wants your marriage to work. God wants you to succeed at, a, at going to school. God wants you God wants you to succeed at uh, getting a promotion. God wants you to succeed, you know, at get, getting a better job and be able to put more food on the table, more food clothes and food on your family's back you know God knows this and God looks after his own people Christians he looks after us that's why he is good because we believe in his son Jesus Christ he is the one that paved the way for us so to speak uh, you know to God and you know God is cool you know, God is, you know, definitely cool because I'm in the kingdom of heaven. I consider it to be, you know, not just in the world, in the word, you know, cool, you know, as in, you know, as in, in the totally, you know, great. I mean, that cool as in, you know, the temperature being, you know, really cool, you know, very nice and, and not, you know, totally hot. So that was another thing, you know, I guess, you know, heaven's in a climate control place, but it's all cool. You know, I don't think there's any hot in it, and if there is, and if there is any places that are actually hot a bit, it's probably something like a hot springs would be or something, you know, on this earth. You know, somewhere some people get in these, uh, the, these uh, springs that were hot, and which the, you know, the Native Americans did a long time ago as well. And you know, before the settlers actually came, but as, but of course, who made the hot springs? God. God made the hot springs. God made everything. You know, God. Like I said, God made all the herbs of the earth. And you know, whatever herbs God made, that's good for the use of mankind. That's um, you know, it it it, it, it did many different ways. But even though yet. Yeah, you know, our, what our, our good God and our cool God, you know, has made with herbs and medicines and so forth else, you know, you know, things must, you know, there are some things that cannot be said about them. Why? For the law of the land in some of the states of the United States of Mexico, of the United States. And, um, I, and, um, um, that's just the way it is. Well, over in the state of New Mexico, it's a total different story now. But that's New Mexico. <laughs> okay. 
state of Texas is still being a little bit lack on, you know, that, you know, making, you know, some other, you know, things that God made legal just yet. So, you know, like I said, God is good. God is cool. He made the herbs and stuff. Man made them illegal in 1970, so. There you go. Why God made it. See, that's how man can mess up anything like that. You know, God made herbs for people, you know, to, to, to be, to have for medications and to feel, you know, and to, you know, give maybe, you know, a bit of an elation that is better than alcohol. But yet it was considered, you know, in the 1970s, you know, it was just regular, just some types of herbs were totally prohibited. You know, but that's man, you know, destroying and making, and what God originally made himself, you know, away from people. So, you know, that, you know, that president was evil that did that. That's the way I've always seen it. You know, Richard Nixon was an evil man, you know, after he did what he did about this, that, and other about our herbs. He got busted at Watergate, didn't he? Yeah, God got him. I believe it. God busted him. He's kind of like, okay, you're messing with my people. I made these herbs and all these other medications and stuff for the goodness of my people, and you made them illegal. All right, that's a, that's you're that's up with you. You got it. I think that's what we call in this age a little bit of God smack. That that I'm uh, that Richard Nixon, you know, that I'm um, who was he was that they was gonna actually gonna impeach him and everything, but he resigned and everything. You know, I, I mean, he was you know mostly a stupid man, but you know not quite totally stupid. Probably, although I don't know, he probably had a bunch of advisors told him to go ahead and resign and everything, or his stupid self with oh well, I'm Almighty God Himself and I'll just and I'll and I'll, and I'll just and nothing, nobody can do nothing to me. That was about his attitude. A lot of doctors out there too has got like the attitude too. They think they're gods, or they are or goddesses, and or in, a, in an evil way. Sometimes they are. Now, that's talking about people. That's talking about man. That's not talking about our God. That's not talking about, you know, our universal God. You know, he is the one that is is on our side. He is the one that's for us, not people. A person can't do anything for you. A person can do, well, some things, maybe. I do believe some people have different gifts. Some have healing. Some have other ones. They just, whatever, whatever it may be that God gave it to them, they've got it. I believe people that have, you know, certain healing powers, you know, God is a healer. God can heal anybody of anything he wants to, but if his will is his will. And that's just simply the way it is. If it is, it is. It's not, it's not. But, um, uh, and, and I'll just say that, you know, God is good. That, you know, that he, you know, asked his son, you know, Jesus Christ to die on sins, you know, die for our sins on the cross. You know, and he, you know, went to hell for three days and sits at the right hand of the Father. So, you know, to get saved, you know, you can believe in him, you know, and go to heaven. You know, you know that's what, if that's what, you know, a person wants to do, go to heaven, that's great. Be in a nice place of uh, uh, of just coolness for the rest of your life. It's a nice place of coolness. So, um, uh, I just thought I'd come and talk to you all today about some of the things that has been and had been, and uh, things that uh, really you know happened. You know, and everything in the past for the past president and how he just ruined everything for some of God's herbs, you know, and then just what an evil man he was. So that's just the way it is about him. And any of you out there listening, I, you know, I thank you for listening to me. If you like what I've got to say, download. And if you hate Richard Nixon, I urge you to download too and subscribe. Let me know because he was a jerk. So, um, I, mean, I can say that. He was a jerk. But things are, ch- but things are changing now, you know, where his jerkness, he's probably rolling over in his grave right now, but who cares? 
So, um, uh, all right, you know, I've just kind of expressed God is good, you know. Today, I've just expressed a few things that I please, I think they needed to be talked about just for a little while. And I'm just going to offer this altar call. You know, I want you to know if you are a sinner, if you're nine years old or above and you don't know you sin, you know, I, I want to just ask you to just repeat this uh, small prayer with me and you will be saved. And that left I, and as I usually say afterwards, you know, don't worry about water baptism just yet, you know, because, um, you know, I don't know how many baptistries are open yet, but you have to be baptized after you're saved, though eventually when you can get into a church, like I always say to get into a Bible based church, investigate this church to see if you, you like them or not. I also say that. Now, come on now, with this, I want to give you the invitation right now. I want you to ask you, you know, if you, you know, you if you want, you know, the Lord Jesus Christ coming into your heart, into your life, and into your family, you know, pray this prayer with me, and it, it will be so. Just now, pray this prayer and say, Lord, Lord God, I ask you in, in, in the name of Son, of your Son Jesus Christ to forgive me of my sins in word, thought, and deed. In the most holy and precious name in the world, in the universe, Jesus Christ, amen. Okay, if you pray that prayer with me, you are saved. Hallelujah. Don't worry about water baptism just yet. But if you can't get baptized, get baptized. And like I say, if you can find me a Bible-based church, go ahead and do so. Just make, make sure, you know, you can get along with whatever they believe. Because they may be, there may be things you might not. But, and I also, you know, as I have been doing, I'm having my, uh, my prayer request or, you know, about at you or how many other, or other people that, you know, could use some prayer about something. And, and uh, I have a P.O. box for that. And um, I would like to ask for a small cash donation. But, however, if you cannot afford a small cash donation, please send me your letters anyway. And I will. I'll just pray for them. Just the same with the, with the should I say, a Christian love offering, you know, or with one or without a Christian love offering. With or without. I will pray for this, you know, your situation or your people's situation. Regardless, I just want to let you know that. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to leave you all today. But just remembering God is cool. God is good. And God is good all the time. So I just want to just go out there and thank you. All of you that have let me in into your homes and your hearts and your how your hotel motel just wherever you just might be right now perhaps you're in one of the big rigs or you might be here in a truck stop or it's no telling when you may be hearing the sound of my voice it may be in a foreign country somewhere praise the lord if someone can translate my voice into it edifies those people and get saved hallelujah let it be done in jesus name all right well i want to leave you all you all was telling you all my people, all my listeners, that remember, I, Father Michael loves you, God loves you, and he will always love you. All right? And I want to leave you all with a blessing. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We, we hope that you enjoyed listening to the Bible teaching and Bible preaching of Father Michael and Father Michael's Ministries. If you like what you hear, please subscribe and become a part of the Helping a Hurting World community. Please send any prayer requests and or Christian love offerings to Father Michael's Ministries. P.O. Box 2524 Odessa, O-D-E-S-S-A, Texas 79760 that's Father Michael's Ministries P.O. Box 2524 Odessa, Texas 79760 this is Father Michael and Father Michael's Ministries saying until next time take care and God bless